Welcome back everybody to RimWorld. Don't panic. Today's episode we're starting off with a little bit of science because I've seen a lot of people still arguing about this in the comment section yesterday in Discord. No one can make their mind up so I'm just going to disprove this once and for all. Uh, obviously the design of our ship in our main save is going to be a big old cannon uh, with a big old center section. A lot of people were concerned that by doing that we wouldn't be able to maneuver from one side of the ship to the other. So just to really drive the point home, you can walk over the spinal amplifiers. That is not a concern. You can get from one side of the ship to the other, no problem. Um, so when we come to building the ship, there's going to be no issues with being stuck on one side of the ship and not the other. There's, we're not going to have to build some sort of, you know, way around the bottom of the ship or anything like that. We can just walk right over the top. We can walk uh, basically only along the top. Um, you know, you can't walk all the way up and down the bloody gun. So if we still need to, say, get to this bit and do some repairs, you'd have to put a door there. You can't just run down the, the, down the thing. But just to get from left to right, not a problem at all. Absolutely perfect for what we need. That being said, let's get back to our regular main game and and get back to work on things then. So since recording yesterday's episode, I actually had it clarified literally just after I finished recording yesterday's episode, in fact, by the uh, the Save Our Ship 2 extensions dev basically messaged me and said, hey, the faction that we were attacked by, we weren't, weren't supposed to be attacked by them yet. Um, that was a conflict with, I believe it's Vanilla Factions Expanded or something like that. It's something weird's happening. Basically, I've solved that problem. So we're no longer going to come under attack from factions that we shouldn't be under attack with yet. Those guys are supposed to attack you and and kind of trigger after you've achieved a certain level of technology that we haven't achieved yet so that was just uh that was just a conflict of mods so those guys are no longer do gonna do any raids until uh unless we piss them off intentionally which i sure as hell don't plan on doing so let's get to some spaceship building. I think we'll stick to doing the very, very external walls first and work inwards. We could also put this kind of halfway up the gun as well. Um, the, the actual IO ports I'm talking about there. So that we're not running back and forth. But ideally, the kind of goal for today is very much to get down a... Um, some more drills, essentially, to, to kind of expedite the process a little bit, because it's not so much crafting. Crafting is extremely fast. It's the it's the limited ability we have to craft, because that's at 532% speed. Um, so that is no question that that thing is going to be able to move absolutely fine. Uh, this thing actually can't help out crafting components, because we just don't have the resources for it. So a few more drills would be a massive help. Um, maybe just four more drills, so that we get... Um, so, so that we could just get, like, the... Uh, the, 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 the components for advanced components specifically. So I'm thinking we'll use this area up here. I mean, we, really we can use anywhere because if we're building a massive, you know, like wedge-shaped ship with a big center for our people to live in for power to be distributed, we don't really have to worry too much about, you know, filling up these areas. So we can, we can always come up here a little bit more too. Everywhere's decently defended. We've got auto motors across the entire bloody base, which are going to be able to deal with drop pods and things like that pretty quickly. So um, outside of that, I mean... Mech hives, I guess, are kind of the biggest threat to us, really. So I'm going to give you guys a choice here. You can have cursed diagonal-facing Rimworld drills. Um, and we could build a diagonal building, which I think is going to look just uh, even more cursed than the weird bulging base that everybody complains about every episode. Alternatively, we can do this kind of pattern with the factory instead. Um, yeah, that way, it's nice and expandable and modular as well. Uh... And we've got room to hide, like, guns and stuff in there, too. I will admit, the the, the kind of, uh... <laughs> ah, the diagonal factor is really fucking cursed. No, I can't stand that. Okay, let's get rid of it. I was going to do it as a, as a meme, but that's just not worth it. It's like it's like square. It's like uh, circles in Minecraft, right? You just can't you just can't fuck with that. That's beyond the, it's beyond the realm of natural rimworld occurrences. Right, let's put that down there. Um... We can move it over very slightly, but I think that's all right. Just as a just a kind of easy access area. It's not blocking the wind turbines. And yes, it is. It's blocking the wind turbines. That's actually a feature of the uh, of the factory being placed there. Okay, let's put it like we can always attach it to one of these buildings. Um, probably want to put it there. I think. Um, how's that looking? That's a bit better. Gives it a little bit more maneuverability if we need to put down another power plant or something like that. So it's going to be quite a lot of resources to obviously build that. So what we'll do is we'll just un unforbid it kind of a flower at a time, if you want to call it that. Um, that center thing, by the way, is an IO port so that they can easily deposit the resources in. I think that works. The only problem is, of course, we need five, ideally, five drills per... Um... Oh, no, wait, wait, we don't, do we? Plasteel, steel, gold component. Because we're going to make the component... Yeah, okay, fine. We don't, we don't need uranium. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Problem solved, huh? Right, let's get to work on that as soon as possible. I might even forbid the ship because getting this done sooner will allow us to get more resources faster, if that makes sense. Oh my god, the blight spread, because of course I didn't enable plant cutting. 
because we're in an Arctic cap and there's me like, oh, we never got any plant cutting, you fool. What an idiot. Okay, right, well, let's go and deal with that as soon as possible. Um, also, before people complain, because people complained about the sprinklers being in the wrong places, I'm well aware this isn't symmetrical, but it is mirrored. Um, if, if you invert it, it lines up properly. Like, there's only four blocks on that side, four blocks on that side, six blocks on that side, six blocks on that side. It's not symmetrical. Like, this isn't the middle of the building, but it is... It, it does work. Don't panic. It's it's all equal. It's nice and balanced. Just don't don't worry about it too much. I might have to put in a couple of reactors onto this one. I, um, so do these these line up? No, because it is all over the place, isn't it? Um, <laughs> what a horrible change in design. That's okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll put another little reactor building over here or something because we are probably going to need two more fishing reactors to be able to power these. What's their power usage when maxed out? Ten thousand watts a piece, and we're building we're building thirty two. That's thirty two thousand watts. No, 10,000 watts times 32. Yeah, that's 32,000 watts. Sorry, I just thought I'd double check my maths there. So we'll need a minimum of two more fission reactors. Um, ideally three, just to make sure that we're definitely in the clear. Um, so probably put down... Probably just put down three of those, huh? Cannot launch ship. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, here's an idea. Let's just ship all over the entire thing and launch the whole fucking thing into orbit. Um, right, so let's get down. I don't know, three if possible. Two, three. Hideous, hate that. Um, okay, one, two, three it is. Problem solved. What? The supreme polar bears. What, what do you want me to do? <laughs> um, Lemoso Kalkos, a countess of the Empire of the Moon, recently lost a scouting party to 65 man-hunting polar bears. She wants to draw the beast towards you to be killed to uphold her honor. Um, we can take a Persona Zeus hammer, a Psyche sensitizer and Plasteel, Heavy Marine Armor, or Kelvendor, Persona Mono Sword. I think the Persona Monosaur would be a bit more useful. Psychic sensitive, sens Sensitivizer. Um, kind of hit and miss, really. This question is, do we want a Persona Monosaur or do we want a Persona Zeus Hammer? And I think the Monosaur has a bit more general usage. Painbender, great, fantastic, against Mechanoids. But so is this, because it cuts through fucking everything. I'm going to take it. God, what have I done? Um, let's hope these turrets are up for the job. What have I just agreed to? Uh, message for Dr. Grant's up on his feet. Oh my god, we've got to... Okay, everybody requested this name. And of course, we have to bring it back. We're going to call him Ironhead. In honor of Ironhead from last series, who kept resurrecting no matter what we did. As somebody so eloquently put it in the comment section, a crackhead psychopath prisoner... There's no one more appropriate than the chemical interest psychopath brawler masochist. We could give him the mono sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. Um, let's give him a gun just for the time being. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on that in the future. Let's get the gorse rifle out of storage. We got that one for the... Uh, I don't know if I talked about this. So the EVA suits, this one's for the gorse rifles. Grab a gun, my friend. You are... Oh, he's a brawler too. Well, of course he's a brawler. I just read that out. Um, but in the case of this many polar bears, where are they? Oh, Voitex. <laughs> Little Voitex. Where are they? Uh, hang on. Quests. Uh, Polaris arriving 13 hours after you accept. Okay, we got a while yet. Get some sleep, my friends. Brace yourself. Ironhead's going to be very unhappy if we leave him with this gun for too long. So we'll just... Just drop it. They'll bloody hauling bots will deal with it, won't they? Yeah, it's your problem now, hauling bots. I didn't think we would get that finished. Although, where have they spawned in? Up there. Oh my god. I assume we didn't get the auto mortars online either. No, that's okay. Um, should we get any bear traps complete? Or is it going to be... Going to be a bit... A bit close for comfort. Oh, you know, we're going to get a couple built by the looks of it. Okay, they're going to take a while to get down here. Go a little Mondo, Dr. Don. Oh, God. This is going to be close. Okay, we're going to have to start backing off pretty soon. I think we'll have to call it there when Dr. Don's finished that one. Ironhead, get yourself a gun. I know you hate them. you got to deal with it. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't like. Uh, how's Dr. Don coming along? Okay, everybody but Dr. Don. I need you to squat up. Let's squat up and let's fall back behind our turrets here. Um... Okay, this is going to be difficult, I think. <laughs> I don't really know what I've signed up to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Dr. Don, I'm sorry. No more. No more, no more, no more. Uh, robots, robots, go home. Recall all. I don't know if the plasteel bear traps are going to help, but they are bear traps. It, it did actually do a good amount of damage. We might take out a single bear if we're lucky. We should have laid some IEDs, some bear IEDs. For when you have to hunt this many bloody polar bears at once. Dr. Don, you need to get out of the firing line here, brother. Otherwise, you are in for a bad day. Ironhead's got a gun. Ironhead, help me out here. God, God save us all. This is a state. 
Polar bears are apparently immune to EMP. Who'd have thought it? Good luck, people. Oh my god, they're getting quite far. <laughs> oh no. Um. Oh, it's a massacre. We're actually going to be okay, I think. Get a little bit close for comfort there. A little bit close for comfort. I know. A little bit close for comfort. A little bit close for comfort. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. They made it into the base. I don't know where those ones are going. Moving. Oh, God. Poor Iron Head. Oh, poor Iron Head. Come on, brother. There's only a couple more. Okay. We actually fucking did it somehow. Oh, my God. The food. Holy shit. We're going to have so much polar bear to eat. In fact, if there are any alive, tame them. Nurse them to health. Rescue the polar bear. Let's go put down these ones. They've wandered into some of our other turrets, too. Okay. Bring them down, people. Watch out for Iron Head. No friendly fire, please. You get out of there. Okay. Two more. And we're good. Nicely handled. That's how you do it. Okay, I want to rescue some polar bear. Um, we'll put it in the prison. <laughs> Until it agrees to be our friend. We will have you back, Voitech. Mark my words. Uh, give, me, give me a polar bear bed. A polar bed. Right. Uh, who we got? Dr. Don MD. Your new job. Uh, how good are you with... Polar bears. Three hours. I want a good quality polar bear. It's got Scaria. Does that matter? Should be fine, right? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit rabies ridden, perhaps. Gunshot auto cannon dazzled its eyes. Might as well go for that one. Played out five hours. I'm sure even Dr. Don MD can, can manage that one. That was three hours. Um, were you okay? You're in, you're in tech too. Congratulations. Rescue. No animal bed in. Oh, we need an animal bed? In a safe temperature. Oh. Um, created to stabilize them then, Dr. Don. Go, go, go. There we go. It's working now. For God knows what reason. Okay. Uh, tame him. Tame him. Bring him back. Um, <laughs> did he just punch him when he tried to fight back? Oh, it's because he's a manhunter still. Are we going to have to cure the scarier? Um, right, to stop it freaking out. Otherwise, it's just going to wake up and rip our people apart. We might have to not use this as a hospital. In fact, if we've got anywhere else, we could put this friggin' polar bear. Because this is kind of a bad idea. Hang on, we've got a building there we could put it in. With a shield generator. Um, here, Dr. Don. Where's he gone? Dr. Don, move your move your polar bear, please, fella. My god, we are going to eat so well now. Um, let's put down a very quick butcher's table. Um, let's go for all... I guess we don't need a... It really makes no difference with butcher's table, actually. Um, we'll put you right... There, where you're right in the way. Excellent. No! Oh, we had to for the quest. Oh, that's annoying. Um, it got back up and immediately started to attack them, so they just immediately put a bolt through its head. Poor thing. Well, that's annoying. Um, let's hope we get a trader. In fact, what the hell am I doing? What the hell have we not already put down a, uh, a trade console? In fact, I think someone said that in the bloody comments yesterday. Right. Give me a comms console. Let's get that down as soon as possible. Uh, we'll put a couple in each building, actually. We'll see if we can fit one... Uh, I guess we could put it in the reactor room if we move the cleaning bot over. Anna Star and Steak are beginning their marriage ceremony. Oh, fantastic. Oh, where did the sword go, by the way? The mono sword. Um, I assume it just got thrown straight into storage, right? Because we can give that to uh, mono. There it is. Kelvendor. Um, <laughs> what a fucking name. I'm going to put that in here. Uh, mono sword. And then we'll give it to Ironhead. Because I think, I think he deserves it. Um, so Persona Mono Sword. And then they should go ahead and bring that over. That's critical, right? Yeah, it is. They are now married in front of the mighty ultra screen TV in the dirty room. Brilliant. I mean, every room's a dirty room when Mondo's in it. Mmm. <laughs> Look at all the meat. That's incredible. You have got to all try to turn up already. Um, who's our best warden then at this point? That is Mondo. Mondo is master diplomat, don't forget. Let's go and take a look. Of course, Mondo would be calling... Ultra fine lubricants. Uh, let's buy the Neutramine. Definitely want as much of that as possible. We could buy the components. It's not really worth it. Um, medicine we want. Arcotech medicine. What the hell is that? Require for more advanced diseases. Oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> they probably would. That's very annoying. Okay. Um, we can sell our entanglement manifold for not very much. They're just all resurrected nanites. Side trainers, skill trainers, combat mechanites, Mark C. What do those do? Melee dodge. Oh, I mean, we've got to buy that for... For... What's his name? You know, that guy. Um, what's, what's his arm like? 125% efficiency. 
45% armor penetration. Wow. I mean, it gives melee dodge chance plus 6 too. I'm going to have to buy a couple of those to throw into our other guy as well. And then we'll buy a couple of Arco Tech eyes. Why not? Uh, buy some jump packs. Hey, that's a good idea. Have you got anything else? I think that's more than a good deal. Thank you. Oh, hang on. We can't afford it. Uh, have some uranium. Have some enriched uranium on me. My good friend. There you go. Now all we need is some... I was going to say some medicine. I guess we could save it. I've got some heal root growing, but it's obviously going to take a while. Um, right. Iron head. Immediately going under the knife. I'm sorry, my friend. One in each shoulder. Combat mechanites. And then the Arcotech eyes. I am going to turn Iron Head into a killing machine. He's proven himself. He was in our prison. We tried to execute him multiple times last series. And he just kept coming back. If there's any character suitable for a Weapon X project, it's Iron Head. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put auto doors along this, don't we? So that our people can uh, rearm them without getting themselves clapped in the process. If we do, uh, if we just do this as, a, as an easy pass through. Um, what diagonally? I don't think they can. Oh, I might have to redo all the traps. Yeah, I think we'll redo it and line them all up properly. Um, or, or not line them up properly. This is the best method because you can't put it on diagonals. This means we're getting the most traps in the smallest area. Um... But I want to kind of readjust a little bit. A lot of people are going to be asking why I didn't just reinstall them. But you you have to reinstall them one at a time. Um, so we want to move that one up to there. But we can't move that to that one until the other one's moved. So it's quite literally quicker. Especially with the Hornet bots just to take them all freaking apart. Um, right. So we'll put that one there. Good. Once these auto doors are in place, it'll be super easy to get across as well. Hello. What are you guys selling here? Town guard of the... Oh, man. I want to see what they've got. Mondo. Let's trade with them. Farming trader. Hey, that's great news. They might have some animals for us. Is that goat one I spy? No, that's a bloody sheep with horns. Stinky. Tell ruined gourmet grill. Mmm, tasty. Um. Okay, we got rams. That's almost a goat. Uh, we got huskies. Those are both useless. Can you milk a cat? I mean, you can if you're brave. Um. No, that's very useful, is it? Tragic. Oh man, I was hoping they'd have something good like a goat or a polar bear. There is one upgraded iron head. Two Cyber Blades, Combat Mechanites, and two Arcotech Eyes. So he is going to be a combat master. Um, I feel like I kind of own better armor now, you know? Anyway, they've, they've done all this stuff. So if we get any more Manhunter packs or anything like that, it's going to be very, very easy to deal with. This is all set up and online. We've almost got the drills, and then we can get straight back on with the ship. Oh, my God. <gasps> but he's put down the traps. See, I haven't got anything to worry about, right? Oh, and we've got auto morses, which, in hindsight, is a good reason to probably turn the shield generators off. Um, otherwise, it's... Probably just going to cause some complex, I would assume. Fast as you can. Get those turned off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. They're scullywags. They're just going to open the doors. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Um, they generally get quite distracted by just keep opening doors. So, it's, it gives us plenty of time to get in there if that's... You know, I should probably get them to drop that gun, shouldn't I? Uh, probably has range weapon. Oh, it doesn't stack up like it used to. Oh, that's good. Would you leave my freaking lab alone? Get out of here. Fucking mechanoids. These ones are just kind of a pain in the ass raid, like a distraction raid. They're not going to cause much of a much of a trouble, except for the fact they lit my hauling bot on fire. <laughs> that was a hell of a goose chase. They managed to get all the way over to our reactors there. But again, scullywags don't really do anything. They just open doors. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass because you never have to go and close all the bloody doors, but it's not that bad. Big deal. We've got this thing churning out the advanced machine frames. That's what we need for the drills. Just kind of open someone we'll build that bloody IO for, if you don't mind. It's not too much trouble. A anyone? No? Oh, there we are. Thank you. <laughs> As an input, just directly into the digital storage unit helps speed things up somewhat. That way, the output's not always blocked, and it means it just can work constantly now. I uh, got it just churning out 10. I suppose we could do until like. Oh, no, 10's fine. 10's alright. We're probably not going to build too many crazy machine components. I think let's well trade it for Mondo to go and have a word with. What have you got for me? <gasps> Voitech and Voitech 2.0. Uh, right, okay, that's fine. Hyperweave, probably probably handy to have around. Glitzwell Medicine, same story. Uh, you got anything fancy? I'm here for fancy things like bionics and weapons, cybernetic hearts, mechanical legs. That seems a bit weak. Uh, 115%. Yeah, that's weak source. We want the we want the Mark III cybernetics. Shining neon, advanced cybernetic prosthetics. That's what I'm talking about. Um, plasma guns, to be honest, not terrible. Um, yeah, that would do for the timing. I think that's all right. Another upgrade for Iron Head. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this one into the electric furnace. Um, what we need right now, and I don't actually know how to get it. Part assembler? Uh, components, PRF, parts, and more. We need weak AI chips, and I honestly don't remember how to bloody build them. 
Metal refinery, smart recycler, industrial stoneworks. Need none of those. Um, straw food processor, meat grinder, space cooker. Those are fantastic. Obviously, save our chef a job. Oh my god, they're here. Let's name them. Let's name them. Uh, we're gonna call you uh, Voitek. Welcome, little Voitek. And then we're gonna call you Joris Bonson. Of course, from our very, very famous Crusader Kings 2 Perfectly Normal Man series. Wow. That's, that's, I, I mean, they're also in the perfect environment, too. It's the first time ever we're not going to have animal cruelty in a series. Damn it. What am I doing with my life? We'll try a part assembler then, huh? Um, go ahead and put one of those up there. Kind of running out of, uh, out of room in our kind of general stockpile. What do you build? A AI chips? Hey, that's what we're after right there. Thank you very much. Okay. AI chips. Four components, ten steel. So we need IO ports for components and steel. Fit that behind, I hope. Okay, here we go. It begins. The start of the infinite resource. Just, oh, oh my god. We've got 996 advanced components. Right, are we building anything urgently besides the drills? Not really. So the second that's done, we just go all in on the spaceship and we should have... No question of resource is no longer a concern. Uh, it's essentially god mode, but slower at that point. Um, and our colony wealth is going to be absurd, so it's whether or not we can actually survive. Probably should work on the fences a little bit after that point, to be honest with you. Right, let's go and swap your gun out. You can you can get rid of that now, fella. Um, and let's get you your Calvendor personal mono sword. Whoever is kind of supported Whispers Thoughts, whoever it's bonded with increasing their mood, amplifies the wield of psychic sensitivity by 20%. Of course we want to equip the item. Absolutely. There we go. Persona bonded ice wolf. No. Persona bond. Iron head. Which is exactly what I said the first time. For some reason the video repeated itself. There we are. Excellent. We refuse to be worried by anyone except iron head. There you go, my friend. Wow. Um, Cavador's kind thoughts gives plus six. That's uh, actually really nice. His mood seems to be a little stuck. Oh, we've got this bug again. Oh, whoa. We've, we've had this happen a lot. Um, ah, that's it. Right, we worked it out last time. It's chemical interest. It's a bug with chemical interest. Um, who else? Has anyone else got that? And I'll, I'll quickly remove it. Um, no, it is just that one. Somebody said that we could just reset the drugs policy. Um, specifically this one. If we say social drugs. Oh, no, it doesn't work, does it? It's really not happy about that. Okay, I'll go ahead and remove the, the teetotaler problem in that regard. Desperate times. We need way more power. <laughs> <laughs> These drills are consuming so freaking much. Uh, we're going to have to go proper big industry at this point if we want to survive. How are we looking on that one? Um, let's get you on overdrive as well. It's only 46,000 watts. Good God. And that's with the wind turbines running at half capacity too. All the power you'll ever need. Except kind of not really. Depends how the wind turbines are doing. Because right now they're all bloody ramped up. Um, all the drills are online. Uh, the problem we've got now is the storage is overflowing with stuff. We've quite literally rammed it. Um, I've separated all non-building materials and all non-recipe materials out into a separate thing entirely. Um, which is still massively rammed. A lot of it's whole foam canisters, to be fair. Um, we might have to pull some stuff out for deep storage instead. Like the silver, I guess we could kick out of uh, kick out of that one, right? We're not using the silver for any building purposes. So we might as well move that out. All right, yeah. Okay, good idea. Um, the ship, though, hey, it's coming along pretty well. Um, we, I mean, we've just got everybody working on it constantly, funnily enough. Um, trying to get them to reinstall this, but for some reason they've decided to prioritize everything but. So I'm going to have to go and forbid it all again, the bloody idiots. Right, there we go. We might be able to get the central core gun done today. If we're quick about it, I mean, we've got the resources. Just a case of giving the giving the people some motivation. Okay, Torthmerd Mechhive. I've dropped him right on top of us. What do you? How 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 right on top of us? Do you mean? Oh god, that's pretty right on top of us, isn't it? Um, right on top of us, but right near the MP guns, which is quite convenient for the wrong reasons. Um, wh who else are these guys firing at? What else is firing? Oh, it's just the sentry guns. Um, is it just a bunch more scullywags? They're not really a threat. Especially not when we've got the entire bloody killing field there basically lined up and ready to go. Move back, move back, move back. Ironhead, get stuck in, brother. I want to see what you're capable of now. Did you just kill that one hit? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, wow. We need to give this guy some legs so that he can actually catch up to people to... Well, I mean, obviously he's got legs. What I meant by that is better legs. Um, so they can actually catch up to enemies. Please don't shoot Iron Head in the head. 
I know he's called Iron Head, but for God's sake, it's a nickname. There we go. I mean, he's, he's great. He's, he's extremely powerful. Is that the entire raid dealt with? Yeah, it actually is. Wow. Oh, they've gotten fairly unlucky with jumping right on top of our kind of uh, cannon setup here, which is quite fun. Hey? <laughs> um, oh, that's quite dark, isn't it? Okay. I like the music just carries on as normal. The ominous blackness. A freakish storm is making way for something coming through the atmosphere. Shall I take a look? Is there actually anything coming through the atmosphere or what? Not as far as I can tell. Everything looks pretty pretty hunky-dory, to be fair. Um, it's very dark. It's like exceptionally dark. Is it just everything goes pitch black? Is that the point? Wow, that's cool. Um, a little bit inconvenient because I can't really... What was that? What was that? Oh. <gasps> Meteor storms. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, hide your little asses. I don't really care about the robots too much. I'll be frank. Um, we can't really afford to take this much time off of working, but we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, what are they? Look at that. Whoa. That is that the Arco matter that we that we've been kind of told about? Ooh. A strange meteor falls from the sky. Meteoric goop. Arco drones. What is this? Uh, load up the mortars, boys. I mean, they're just wild animals, right? Wild insects. Hello. We got meteoric goop. Oh, uh, there's something below it. A dead Arco drone. What is this thing? A chunk of... Well, no idea. Yeah, me too, brother. We can deconstruct that, huh? Let's do it. What the hell are the Arco drones? Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, meep. Me too. Uh, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Me too. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Well, I have no idea what the fuck this is, but we're going to get Hocus to go and take it apart. Um, no, let's get Mondo to take it apart. Unless it kills him horribly. At which point, this is a horrible mistake and I'll regret it. Um, let's go. Man, that looks cool, though. I quite like that. Let's go and have a look. See what happens if we take it apart. Does this give us the Arco matter, perhaps? That's the crafting material that we've seen some of the extension stuff needing. Oh. Arco matter. There you go. Don't suppose the drones are after us now, are they? I wonder what that thing is. Three conditions need tending. I kind of want to kind of try and save it. Party has been called off, which, to be fair, uh, given the circumstances of complete blackness uh, and also uh, falling meteors from the sky composed of God only knows what, uh, probably a reasonable assumption. Probably a reasonable, sensible thing to shut the party down there. Oh, there we go. Thrombo sighting. Well, to be fair, everything's sighting. Because we can actually see... Oh, they've done so much damage to my walls, you shit. Um, I want to tame you. Can I not? We, can, we, we cannot be friends. Uh, wildness. Oh, yeah. Life expectancy. Oh, a good million years. Um, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the colony. Hope you guys enjoy it here. Um, probably not going to attack you or anything because you're probably way stronger than me, to be completely frank. Um, it's about to pay storage location for these in, don't we? It's called Arco Matter. Right, 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 right. Um, Arco Matter. Under raw resources. There we go. Oh, plant matter. There we go. Is that everything? Um, Arco Matter. Oh, frozen won't spoil. Ah, okay, so we need to put it in a cold storage unit. Sorry, my bad. Is this the stupidest thing we've ever done in RimWorld? I think it probably is. Robo Daddy was definitely up there when we took his entire nuclear radiation-filled, robot-filled rim factory and blasted it off into space. Uh, that was pretty ridiculous. I don't think we've ever done quite anything to this scale. This is like premium ridiculous now. I mean, we're building ships that have walls that take thousands of components. Like, this is advanced components. This is premium shit. <laughs> and it's going to take absolutely ages so here's the plan um we're going to change tactic a little bit here and i'm thinking we are going to put down a prosthetics workbench i think we're going to download all the ingredients to our uh, to this one and how many components we got the 2703 that's advanced components by the way i think we download them all to this one and from there we try and get Mondo Hocus and Dr. Don, our builders, cybernetic arms. Whatever gives the work speed bonus. To be fair, even clothes uh, would be would be ideal in the situation. Um, we need a regular prosthetics machine, don't we, as well? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a hard limit on all these bills of... Uh, what are we looking at? 
20,000? 15,000. Let's put a hard limit on every resource of 15,000. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> we're not going to have any room for anything at this stage. What a, what a tragedy, I know. 10,000? 10,000 is still quite a lot, isn't it? Let's go 10,000 then, and I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and get all these updated. Oh, here it goes. Okay. Go on then. Oh, my poor hauling bots. That was fortunate. Um, they got a shield. Because they haven't got a mortar shield. Unfortunately, it's a bad day to be you, my friends. Mech high shield, they do bollocks. Um, we could do some EMP shells. If we could get some of that, they are, they are dead as dicks. Can we maybe get the auto mortars to hold fire for a second? If that's alright. <laughs> um, can we swap you out? They can only take regular shells, huh? Hmm. What are we going to do? How are we going to deal with this? We need just like a, a couple of regular mortars, like regular artillery. And using those, we can cut a hole in it. And then we can just open it up with the with the auto mortars. So let's get a couple of those. Maybe not in front of the winter ones. God, there's so much to do. It's staggering. Our base has kind of gone a little bit... Um, It's kind of got a little bit cursed, hasn't it? Like, it, we've gone way too far into the ship route without getting everything else down. Wow. It's a little bit tragic, really. Maybe we need to reassess how quickly we jump into the ship. Anyway, we'll leave it there for today because there's obviously quite a lot to plan out here. I'm basically just importing recipes at this point. Um, and that's going to take a lot of while. We haven't got to worry about these guys waking up for a little while anyway. So I'll, between episodes, get them to churn out some EMP shells. I'll get them to finish the artillery. I'll get them to hide and be very careful. And we'll try and get some things repaired. Because honestly, the base is, uh, is a state. Ever since the, the whole world got thrown into darkness. And it's like, it's, it's all been weird since then. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, coffee. Again, uh, there is a post going up today. Uh, or there, there will be a post, sorry, going up by the time that you're watching this video. Um, regarding the final coffee plans that I have. So please go and check that out if you are a coffee producer. So that you can uh, be kind of clued in with what's happening. In the meantime, a big thank you to Steak and Bacon Akins, Bokbin, CJ, Siala, Alchemia, Jobo Daddy, Dumgit, Oromeb, Magus Adamandios, Aromatic Fool, Gogola, Siphon, Arctic Knight, Gibbering Mound, Voodoo Mumba, Dante Mordekane, and T-Bag Cruz, along with, of course, everybody at the executive producers on Coffee for their support in keeping the channel going in the first place. And a thank you as well to Blue Chaos, Zaka, KQ, The Magic Velociraptor, Trevor Brooks, Cyric313, Corrupt Racer, Hazel, KG Evans, Matteo, Electric Alice, Karsten, Vuoxa, Telkus, 345, Jet Black Sheep, Elko, Eckle, Cakes, Hero Club, and Chatulski. Thank you. I need a drink. I haven't. I don't think I've had a sippy for. My God, how long have I been doing this episode for? Like four hours now. Holy shit.